Now I've talked to you about the Aviator B3 and I'm still convinced it's the best EDC pen that exists. Pencil, red pen, and black pen in a very compact package, very, very nice and thin. But did you know it comes in brass? Well, not really. But you can modify it and now it is truly a thing of beauty, wouldn't you say? So this is gonna be a full breakdown on how you can do this yourself with this Skillcraft B3 brass conversion. So, made some mistakes along the way with this one. It took a lot longer than I'm sure it's gonna take in this takedown. So the first thing we have to do is disassemble the whole thing. So, for first thing we're gonna need to do is actually, if you see, there's, there's a cap that has your, um, eraser. Now what we're going to use is we're going to use a uh, plier wrench and this is all one component but I'm going to use it to grab just the edge. I'm trying not to grab the threading if I can avoid it but in this case I'm just going to lightly grab the threading and unscrew this top part right there. So this pulls out the, the rest of the components this has a little slot for it to slot in, so you go in, down, and over, and that's how it sits, okay? So there's that. And then there's one barrel. And we're gonna carefully pull this out. Leave that over there. And there's two barrels. Now, this will not sit into this without the friction piece from this. So we have the two barrels the pocket clip and the little head. These are the only things we really need to actually make this work. Now, when I did this one, I actually left it screwed in to do this cap, but we're gonna, tr I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna try to do the cap kinda at the end because I haven't found a good way to hold on to it while I'm trying to uh, remove the black, you know, material. So what I ended up doing is I used the the Ken Onion Work Sharp with an X22 grit belt. And uh, that worked really, really, really well. It gave a nice little polish. And I am gonna use a brand new belt for this modification. I'm gonna do a time lapse, or a hyper lapse, I should say, because this is not a, a short mod. It, it takes some time, but it is very pretty and I think well worth the time. So stay tuned. I'll be probably voiceovering it so you can kind of hear what's going on, but hope you enjoy and maybe you'll try this yourself. You probably do it with just sandpaper, in fact. Alright, so here's what we got so far. Now, this is lessons learned, right? New belt, new X22 belt, and uh, really nice finish. I, th I think that works out really nice. Really pretty, right? Like, I'm surprised they don't offer it, you know, just plain, because it's beautiful. I mean, look at this thing. Anyway, that's one half done. Let's get to the next part. Okay, what do you think so far? Let's, let's zoom in here. I like, I like. Definitely doing it better this time around. So this is part two. Now we gotta do the clip, and then we're gonna reassemble it before we do the last part. Okay, this is where I really should have left well enough alone, okay? The black clip is a pain to try to do. Okay, it took me a lot of time. This is a times 10 recording. My recommendation, put it back together without the clip, smooth it all out, and then put the clip back in because it'll look good with the black and the brass anyway. So unless you really are convinced you want that stainless steel look, 
go ahead and do that because man, a lot of work. You know, in retrospect, I would not have done the clip. I would have kept it black. Lessons learned on that one. Okay, so for this, there's a little slot. You wanna go ahead and line that up with the, um, make, sure, make sure that none of these are tucked in. Okay, once we got that in, you know, it's lined up. We're gonna move it down a little bit further. We're gonna put the clip in. Like I said, I should have left it black. Whatever. Lessons learned. I mean, how much do you do this stuff? You always learn new things. Okay, so that's that. I'm gonna screw this in. Don't worry about this being black right there. We'll fix that in a second. So there, so that's screwed in. Now this should work now properly. Good. All right. Now for funsies, we'll go ahead and assemble the rest. Make sure it works. But now we got one more piece to do. We got this little black piece. Now you can you can do any combination, right? You saw I can have leave this black, but it's it's really hard to not polish. Like if you're gonna polish this, you kind of have to do it in this order. Like you could leave it like this, but we're gonna we're gonna go all the way. We're gonna polish this bad boy as well. So so we gotta screw everything down on this end, and now now with it mounted, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to just clean this up real quick. All right, here we go. Now, in retrospect, I kind of like the black clip, but it's okay. I wanted to showcase just how long it takes to um, grind down this, this clip, but now it's brass. And is that pretty or what? Wouldn't you buy this pen now? now seeing that it's actually brass underneath for 20 bucks a triple pen this elegant i think you would now don't worry i will put a link directly to this to this pen on uh amazon they're not that dissimilar in price across the board but they range between 20 dollars and 26 dollars and man what a great bargain for something this good i'm telling you edc pen pen that you don't like absolutely get upset about if you lose it. Skillcraft Aviator B3 with a brass treatment. You guys have a good day.